That pressure is off. Realizes it's just a sport. Knockout and uppercut, no less. Same punch that dropped him against Christian and Pumbu. Carpenter knew that Kentaldi was out, did not even Two pounce with six. the ground and pound. Now, see if we can get a look at it. Got caught dropping his head. You see it here. Probably trying to load that right and bang. Caught an uppercut right on the jaw by Carpenter, similar to the one and Pumbu caught him with. That's what we call redemption. Caught him coming in, dropping his head. Bang cut right on the button you see Tim Carpenter ready to pounce if he had to but he didn't jump in beautiful shot right on the chin hey, Kintaldi hey, drops man he just falls like a tree clearly out does not know where he is his head did not snap on the back of the mat so you know didn't, didn't have that secondary in, in this video we're gonna be working on the uppercut when you're learning to throw the uppercut the first thing you want to remember is to never throw it directly in front of your opponent. Always move your head and foot off the center line before you throw the punch. Here's another angle. You can see when I throw the left uppercut, my head moves to the left. When I throw the right uppercut, my head moves to the right. Your head and foot should move at the same time. Another important thing to remember is to not pull your elbow back, but to rotate your body as you step. Pull your shoulder back, not your elbow, and let the punch come off kind of loose, straight up the middle. Here's a drill you can do to work on setting up your uppercut with another punch. If I throw a left jab, I'm going to move and throw a right uppercut. I throw a right cross, I move and throw a left uppercut. Cross, left, jab, right uppercut. Here you can see that as I step, my body is rotating. That's where the power of the punch comes from. It's not coming from your arms. It's coming from the rotation of your body. Here's another drill that works on disguising your movement behind a punch. The idea here is to momentarily blind your opponent and make him flinch by throwing a punch at his face as you move off at an angle and let your punch rip. Momentarily blinding your opponent will allow a punch to land much cleaner. This is a drill to throw uppercuts in close. When you have an opponent right on top of you, you're gonna use your right elbow to bump him away and then throw the left uppercut as he backs out. Same thing on the other side, I throw my left elbow to bump him away and throw the right uppercut, okay? It's the same idea, I'm using that shoulder and elbow bump to rotate my body and it generated a lot of power in a very tight space. <laughs> 